If you want to disguise your blowgun, you can also use camouflage that matches the environment you're in. Hey guys, I'm Nate. Welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to take a look at another DIY weapon. We're going to be building a blowgun out of a cereal box. Here's what we're going to need for this build. A cereal box, of course, preferably one of the taller ones. This is an 18 ounce box of cereal. We've got some tape, some paper clips, post-it notes, bamboo skewers, a few straws, and a glue gun. We'll also be using some scissors, a ruler, and a razor blade. The first step is to take the cereal out of the box. We actually just need the cardboard that the box is made of. So put the cereal aside and use it another time. With our box nice and empty, we now want to break it down so it's all one flat sheet. Our cereal box is now open, it's flat, and we can cut out the pieces that we need from these flat sheets of cardboard. We want to cut out a rectangle that's three inches wide and as long as we can get in one unbent piece of cardboard. To start, let's remove the flaps around this larger triangle. With the flaps removed, we can measure off a three inch width and we'll cut that rectangle out of this piece of cardboard. We now need to score lines into it and fold it into a triangle. We want to measure off four equal sized portions within this three inch strip. So let's mark off every three quarter inches and score the cardboard at that width. When I say score, what I mean is that we'll take the razor blade, we'll line the ruler up on those lines, and we'll drag the razor blade across the cardboard, but not hard enough to cut all the way through. We only want the cut to go about halfway through the cardboard, and that will let us bend the cardboard perfectly along the lines. We can see that there's clearly a mark in the cardboard, but it hasn't separated into two pieces. It's all still very much one piece. Let's do that for the other two lines as well. now easy to see that we have four equal portions of our cardboard and we now want to fold along each of those lines, folding into the shiny printed side. Use the ruler to sort of push along the edge so it's all folding at the same time. You can see how nicely it folds along the spot where I've scored the cardboard. We now have our cardboard that's been scored and folded all the way around, so now we need to glue it together, but we're not going to go for the square we're actually going to overlap two of the pieces and fold it into a triangular prism shape. With the cardboard folded, we'll use the hot glue gun to keep it closed. If you don't have access to a hot glue gun, you can use strong tape for this step as well. We now have our triangular prism shape that will work as our blowgun. Let's add a few features that will make our blowgun function a little bit nicer. Let's grab one of our paper clips and bend the very end of it at about a 90 degree angle. Using some tape, we now want to secure this paper clip to the bottom of one side of the prism. This is going to act as sort of a safety guard that makes it so when we use our blow darts, they can only go into the gun, but they can't come back out. I could probably use scotch tape for this step, but you know here at the King of Random, we do love electrical tape. Now that's attached, and let's actually add another layer of tape beyond that, not to hold the paper clip down, but as sort of a mouth guard. This is cardboard, and if we put our mouth on it too much, it's gonna end up getting soggy. The waterproof nature of the tape will help prevent it from deforming with extended use. The basic blowgun is built, and now we need some darts that go with it. Let's grab our post-it notes and some bamboo skewers. Peel off a single post-it note and try to roll it into a fairly tight cone shape. Now, post-it notes are sticky, but they're not so sticky that they'll hold themselves when they're tightly coiled, so let's add a bit of clear tape onto this cone. Now we need to get this cone shape to fit into this blowgun. They're obviously not the same size, but what we can do is using the end that doesn't have a paper clip on it, press the cone down into the blowgun until it's filling all the way to the edges of our triangle. Using a pen, mark off where the paper meets the cardboard tube. Now we'll use our pair of scissors to cut off the excess paper. That should give us a cone with a triangle profile that fits perfectly into our blowgun. A little cone of paper isn't gonna travel very far or very fast though, and that's where the bamboo skewers come in. Let's cut off a piece about two inches long from the pointy end of our bamboo skewer. There should be a small hole in the tip of the cone, but if it's not quite big enough for the bamboo skewer to fit through, just widen it a little bit with a pair of scissors. Fit the bamboo skewer until most of it is protruding out of the front of the paper cone, and then secure it in place with some more tape. There's one dart, let's make three more. We've got some darts made and we've got a blowgun made. Let's test one of these darts out and see if it's working. So we've got our little guard that will stop our dart from coming out of the gun backwards. 
but we should be able to just push the dart right into the gun past that guard. Let's see if our blowgun can drive one of these little darts into this piece of foam core board. Boom! Look at that. That stabbed right through it. Beautiful. So, we know that works. Our darts are just sort of laying around, so let's build a mechanism that lets us attach them to the side of our gun for easy reloading. We've got a lot of cereal blocks left. Let's cut out another rectangle from one of these smaller pieces. This one two and a quarter inches wide by three inches long. We now want to cut this rectangle into three equal strips, each one three quarters inches wide and three inches long. With our three strips cut out, we now want to score and fold them the same way that we did with the blowgun body. Before we glue these three pieces closed though, we want to add a small section of drinking straw into the corner of each one. Let's cut off three pieces of drinking straw that matches the width of these three quarters of an inch. Of course you don't have to do different colors, but I have them available and I do like having different colors on things. Let's use a small dab of hot glue in the center crease to attach our straw pieces. Remember that they will be attached and then folded into a complete triangle so we don't want to glue them with the cardboard wide open. We want to glue it with the cardboard already pinched at an angle. Once the straw is attached in the centerpiece, we can use a little bit more glue to glue these two outside tabs together. We can now attach these three triangles to the outside of the body of the gun. Position them so that the straws are on the outside portion and not one of the inside corners. We can now have one dart loaded into the barrel of our gun and three additional darts pressed into the straws on the side of those prisms that we just added. Now when we're ready to reload, we can just grab another dart and fit it into the back of the gun. At this point our blowgun is functional, but it looks pretty bland. It's just cardboard colored. So let's get some tape and see if we can't decorate this thing a bit. I think that's looking quite a bit more stylish, but I don't want to quite finish yet. There's a few more design elements that I want to add on. When Grant showed you how to build the laser-assisted PVC blowgun, he had a laser pointer added on, and I think we can do the same thing to take this up to another level. Here's the laser pointer that we will be mounting to the side of this blowgun. It's got a nice bright green dot. Should show up nicely, even in pretty light conditions. A couple of side mounted supports should help keep the laser pointer nicely centered on the blowgun. Our cereal box blowgun is looking quite good. It's decorated, it can hold three extra darts, it has a laser sight on it. At this point what we need is a target to shoot it at, something more interesting than a blank piece of foam core board. I've printed out this picture of a zombie and we're going to try mounting that to a piece of this board so we have something more specific to aim at. Beautiful. I'll call him Bob. Bob the zombie. Bob the zombie has volunteered to be our blow dart target. And by volunteered I mean he can't complain because he's a printed out piece of paper. Let's try hanging Bob up and see if we can shoot his lack of brains out. Woo! A lot of power. Maybe too much power. Couldn't control it. Ha! Right in the face. Take that, Bob. Hit the board, missed the zombie. Yeah! Hand! Stabbed him in the hand. Eyeball! That'll take out even a zombie, I think. Ha! If his heart were still beating, it... Well, now it wouldn't be. It were. Brainless shot. It's not 100% accurate because our darts are made out of paper and bamboo, but it has a laser on it. I think the intimidation factor is the most important part. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber yet, just hit the bomb to get in the club. If you missed our last video or want to watch it again, just click up here at the top. Click down there if you want to see what the internet thinks that you should watch next. 
That's it for now. Have fun, be safe, and see you tomorrow.